Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the lint duct assembly on your dryer. Really easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, 5 16 nut driver, and a Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to gain access to this component, we're going to need to lift the main top up and remove the front panel, which will expose us to some electrical circuits. So the first thing we need to do is disconnect power to the dryer. If it has a cord on it, simply remove it from the receptacle. If it's a hardwired dryer, we'll need to locate the breakers or the fuses and disconnect those. Next, we'll take a putty knife and we'll insert it in the slot between the main top and the front panel in about four inches from either side. You'll find a spring clip there. So we'll press that spring clip back, lift up on the main top, and then we'll tilt it back far enough and make sure it's supported against the wall. Next, we'll disconnect the wires to the door switch. Mark these before you remove them so you know where to put them again. And just tuck those out of the way. And if your dryer has a light switch on it, you'll need to remove those wires as well. There are two 5 16 hex head screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. We'll need to remove those. Now we can tilt the front panel forward and then lift it off of the two hooks on the bottom of the cabinet. Now that we have the front panel removed, we now have access to the air inlet duct assembly. It's held to the front bulkhead with three screws, one in each corner and one at the bottom. They're accessible from the inside of the drum. So with the Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove those three screws. Then we can just slide the inlet duct assembly away from the bulkhead and off of the blower housing. Now we need to line up this portion of the housing on the outside rim of the blower wheel assembly. Make sure that it seats firmly and then replace the three screws. Make sure all three screws are nice and tight so that we don't have any rattles. Next, we're ready to put the front panel back on, reconnect the door switch and put the main top down. Now we're ready to reinstall the front panel. So we'll locate the two slots on the bottom of the front panel with the hooks on the base of the cabinet. Make sure those are engaged. There are a couple of locator pins that are on the back side of the front panel that will line up holes in the front of the cabinet. So make sure those line up. Next, we'll reinstall the 5 16 screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. Next, we'll reinstall the wires to the light bulb.
Make sure the terminals fit snugly. If they're loose, you'll need to crimp them with a pair of needle nose pliers. Next, we'll reconnect the wires to the door switch. Now we're ready to put the main top down. We'll engage the locator pins all the way around and then snap it into place. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.